but a break of structure. But you see, this is still going to lead to a major break of structure on an even higher time frame. So if we look at this low, it's a four hour low as much as this is a four hour low, right? This is a four hour major low. And if we see price taking out that major low, we're probably going to see on a daily that that's still a major low that we saw price taking out. Now, when price takes out a high or a low, what are we expecting? We are expecting for price to go in and mitigate. So obviously over here, we have a change of character. Price changes its character from um, bullish to bearish, right? And then we come back and we retest this order block. So obviously price we have an order block sitting in at somewhere in on this level over here. And we're obviously looking for price to tap into some kind of order block sitting over there. Price taps into it and boom, price takes out the next low. Now we can expect price to now go in and tap into the next order block and then go lower as we once again break a minor structure within the four hour time frame that will lead to the major structure where price then takes out a major structure low you with me Who's with me? We're we on the same page. Because remember, the only time we have a break of structure is at a change of character. Understand this. I mean, sorry. The only time we have an actual mitigation is at a change of character. Right? If we look at something like this. Someone would have said this is the last down candle, up candle before the down move, the last up can before the down move, but that was not an order block. And that's why price broke right through. That was not an order block, right? However, though, however, though, let's look at this time frame quickly and see, right? At what level, what took out this low? We have a low sitting over here. Where did the momentum come to take out this low? Right? Where did the momentum come to take out this low? Hey guys, where was it? It was this last candle over here that created that momentum. As much as price just, you know, kind of like declined over here, right? It was this candle that created the momentum, but where did the four start from? See that order block? Price tapped in and price fell. You with me? So, we want to see, we do, all we want to see is go to the higher time frame. Go to the higher time frame, go to a daily chart and just look at what took out a low. So we have this major low over here. I want to show you guys how quickly just look here, right? So we have this major low over here. We did the momentum come, right, to take out this low? Are you with me? Where did the momentum come to take out that low? And then all of a sudden we had another low. 
Where did the momentum come to take out this low? See? This is what you need to ask yourselves. Did price tap into this order block? No, it didn't. What actually happened was price tapped into this bearish breaker. Slightly tapped into it. And then we see price starting to decline. You with me? So obviously on this time frame, I can already tell you right now what price wants to do, right? So as you can see, we had a major break, a major break. This was a daily break, right? This was a daily break. Let's look at this quickly. That was a daily break. That was a daily break. And now we want to see what created this low. We have a daily break. What created this low? Where did the momentum come for this low? The momentum to create this low came from over here. You with me? But now, again, right, we had this low. What violated that low? Where did the momentum come to violate that low? See, it was that high. So what are we looking at? We could be seeing price coming into this level and then coming lower. Now we're making A high, a lower high, a lower high, you with me? So nobody's going uh, uh, to be looking to buy the market until Until we have now decided to go bullish. How do I know when price has now gone bullish? So obviously, like I said, guys, long time ago, almost six months ago, price was going to come into this level. Who remembers? Who remembers this? I remember showing this, yes? So obviously, this is what I am looking for. This is how I'm going to identify when I feel like price is now going to start going bullish. So over here, you see, we have a high, a low, sitting over here. That is lower than the previous low and then we have a massive momentum to the upside now even if price comes down to this level right if we pull out a verb tool we can see that every time price fell price was at a position where they were going premium 
Premium sell. Premium sell. You with me? So when price finally goes up for the last time, premium sell. So that when price finally tries to go up for the last time, they will be in discount and they are not going to buy in discount. So I would say this would be their final destination. We would then get our changing character and we can then look for buying opportunity. Who's with me? See, as long as they keep buying above the 50, they're buying premium. This is where they want to buy to get into discounts. Now, when I tell people that the higher time frame, right? needs to line up with the lower time frame that's exactly what i mean remember guys that let me draw this out quickly remember now these guys the major institution the major banks always want to buy in premium right so they'll buy now listen to this carefully let's say this is a 15 minute chart right let's say this is a 15 minute chart right as much as we are seeing a bullish momentum on 15 minutes, right? They are buying. They are buying into discount just to get into premium to sell off on the low, on the higher time frame. Listen to that again. Listen to this again. The lower time frame is making lower highs and lower lows. But on the higher time frame, they're buying in to premium in order to sell into discount on the higher time frame. Does that make sense? So let me show you. On the one hour chart, We will buy into premium, right? We will buy into premium in order to fall into discount on a daily chart. So on the lower time frame, we're buying, but we're only buying to sell on the lower time frame. I mean, to, to, we're only buying, sorry, we're buying on the higher time frame, on the lower time frame in order to sell on the lower time frame. Let me try and give you an some examples here. Let's go to a 15 minute time frame. Now look at this quickly. Um, if we look over here quickly, right? So they were buying
Look how they were buying at discount, right? They were buying at discount because it slightly went into the 50, right? They were buying in discount, right? And then if we look over here, again, they were buying into discount. See, they buying into discount. So we can expect price to obviously, as we can already see, come lower. So they're buying into discount, right? Just to go into Sorry, let me just move the chart so you guys can see that. They're buying into discount just so that the higher time frame can sell into premium. Now, let me show you this. See, they were buying, they were buying at discount just so they could go into premium. So now, here's the opportunity on the four hour to now buy into So if this is the low that was just created, they will take that low and use it to buy. Premium. So they're buying a premium price on the higher time frame, but you believe that on a 15 minute time frame, they're continuing to buy at discount. So what do you do? You get involved. You get involved because you don't understand that your lower time frame needs to line up with your higher time frame. You with me? Now we can see that my lower time frame is actually lining up with my higher time frame. I understand why they want to buy in discount. I understand why they want to buy in discount. They want to buy in discount on a lower time frame in order for them to buy in premium on the higher time frame. You with me? That's why I always say, and I tell my students all the time, make sure your lower time frame lines up with your higher time frame at all times. Because it's your lower time frame that's going to lead to the outcome of your higher time frame. on the same page are we all together are we all together guys do we all understand this Okay, so let me show you once again. 
Look at this pattern, right? If we go to a 50 minute time frame, can you see that over here, right? If we look over here, let's take this away, right? Let's take that away. Let's take this away. Now, if we look at this high and this low, our range, we can see that they came into discount. They came into discount to push higher and we had a break of structure. Right. You with me? So, we now had a break of structure and we now have a new high. Are you with me? We have a new high and a new low. And like I said, right, they want to come into this low which is now discounted price in order to go higher, right? But now look at what's happening on the lower time frame. Can you see how price starts to now want to decline, which will then lead to the higher time frame outcome, which means that this is what I'm expecting price to do on the lower time, on the higher time frame, but it all starts at the lower time frame. It's going to lead to the outcome of my higher time frame. Are you with me? Do you understand what I talk about or what I, when I say that your lower time frame needs to line up with your higher time frame? I can't be selling a bullish or going short on a, on a market, yet the market is bullish. I can't be going short on a market when the lower time frame is telling me to go short, yet the higher time frame is telling me to go bullish. And obviously, vice versa. So now, obviously, let's say price plays out like this. This is now my new low. This would be my new high. And on the lower time frame, we would obviously see price coming into discount, right? in order to push higher for a decline in pricing to take out the next low, right? Now, what this does for me, right, is give me a break of structure. Now, when I get another break of structure, what is this showing me? This is showing me now that the big boys wanna buy premium. Because now, if we have this high and this low, all this does for me now is give the big boys another chance to buy. Premium. But it all started on my lower time frame. It all started on my lower time frame. But on my lower time frame, they're telling me to buy. But on my higher time frame, it's telling me to sell. Now, if you understand your lower time frame is actually telling you to sell instead of buy, you would understand this. If you understand that the lower time frame is not actually telling you to buy, but rather to sell, you would understand that that then lines up with your higher time frame.
You guys focus too much on breaker blocks and order blocks and structure is the most important thing. I don't know why. That's why for a whole month in my mentorship, I teach structure. I have to. You need to understand structure in order to understand swing points, in order to understand um, uh, certain uh, what, what ranges in a market. Like, this is your range. Like, if we talk about a range, if you wouldn't know range if it hit you in the back of your head if you didn't know structure. This is your high. This is your low. Right? I'm expecting... the lower time frame to buy. Now watch this, this is what I'm talking about. I'm expecting the lower time frame to buy like this. Remember the market is fractal. So the market's going to buy. And then all of a sudden they now in premium on the lower time frame, but that only leads to the outcome of the higher time frame which is actually bearish. So this is what you're seeing on a lower time frame, but all they're doing is catching you out. So here you are buying, you bought over there, you bought over here, You bought over here. Then all of a sudden we have a change of character. Boom. Right? Price comes in. Right? Now all of a sudden we liquidate. So as price comes down, we take you guys out, you guys out, you guys out. But we could all see that we had a major break in structure. So why the hell... Would we be buying a market when the market is clearly selling? Why would we be buying a market when the market is clearly selling? We are clearly making higher highs, sorry, lower highs and lower lows. That's clearly what we're doing. We're clearly making that. We have a break of structure over here, right? We have a break of structure over here, a break over here, a break over here, a break over here, a break over here. Now this is minus structure, right? This is minus structure within major structure. So we have minus structure that gets you involved and this we're seeing on a lower time frame but it's the lower time frame that needs to line up with the higher time frame in order to get the results of the higher time frame's outcome. And that is another major break of structure. Are we on the same page? Yes, we have one change of character and then the market moves in a whole different direction. Correct. But on a lower time frame, we have multiple changes of character because over here, price starts going up. Then we have a change of character. Price starts going down. Then price starts going up. We have a change of character. But on the major time frame, here is your change of character. Then what do we have? We have price mitigating and price then falls. That was the change of character as we took out this low before the next high. Change of character, price mitigates, price falls. But 
let's look at here. Minor structure that leads to a major outcome. Now, even if I didn't have any type of understanding of mitigation and order blocks or whatever the case is, I could literally just remember that I'm buying in discount in order for my higher time frame to sell a premium. That way, my lower time frame is lining up with my higher time. You with me? So even though, you see, this is what people are not getting. Even though on this daily time frame, right, what led to the break? So we could very much, we could very much say that listen, right? We had a break over here. Here's an order block, right? Then we had a mitigation of that order block already. So let's draw that out. We had a break. We had a mitigation. Price comes in, mitigates. But then we have another break. Right? We have another break. Where's the other break? We have another break over there. So now we have another order block. So what am I looking at? I'm looking at price to come into this order block. And for this order block to then take out the next low. And it's as simple as that, guys. It's as simple as that. It's as simple as that. You with me? Simple as that. The lower time frame is just going to get you guys smacked. I'm going to tell you this. Unless you understand that the lower time frame needs to line up with the higher time frame, you're going to continue to get smacked in this market. You understand? You can't go against the trend. So you need to understand that the lower time frame must line up with the higher time frame. If it's not lining up with the higher time frame, then you have a problem. You understand? And then once again, what do we have? We have a situation where we're making highs lower high lower high lower high and obviously if price now takes out this low we obviously obviously expecting price to come back into premium of this range so let me show you this again of this range price needs to come into premium we have a high and a low what are we expecting we're expecting price to come into premium so they will buy into premium on the lower time frame just for them to sell off i hope you're getting this are you guys getting this So here you are on a lower time frame buying into premium in order for them to sell off. These are the big boys. The big boys are buying at premium. Retail traders are buying at discount and they know that this is what they are doing. So they're giving you that oomph to buy into the market just to take you out. So you get involved over here. You buy, 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 buy. They come down. They take you out one by one. So let's say now we have this range. We have a new range, right? Well, let me just show you on a live chart what I mean, right?
we have this range, guys. Look at this range. Look at this range. Um, let's go to this range here quickly. So let's take this low was broken, right? So let's take this high and this low, right? So look at this quickly, guys. When I talk about aligning up, a higher time frame being in line with your lower time frame and vice versa, I talk about this. See, on a 50 minute time frame, a lot more candles are being printed, but look how price comes into. Let's look at this quickly. Look how price comes into. Um, Discount and then goes up. We create a new high and we have a new low. Once again, we're lining up with my higher time frame. Price comes into discount. We then have a new high, a new low. Once again, price comes into discount. We have a new high and a new, sorry, high and a new low. Look how price comes into discount. But what are they doing is they are buying into discount in order to sell off into premium. You with me? You with me? They keep buying into discount, right? So once again, now all of a sudden we have a failed high. But where did this, what took out, right? If we look over here, we want to see, right, them come into discount they need to come into discount right until they get to where they're going so they'll go up 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 right they'll go up 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 until they finally get to their destination which is let's say over yeah right so they want to buy into this level but they obviously need some kind of momentum in order to buy in now if you understand this you'll understand right you'll understand that this is just going to lead to this. But what were they doing? They were buying, they were buying into premium. Look at this. What were they doing? They were buying into premium on this time frame. Here we are here. Here's a high. There's a low. They are at premium price. They are above the 50. They are in premium. They're in premium in order to sell off So they were buying, 
they buying into these levels they buying into these levels and now you getting caught up thinking that this is the way the market is going and then all of a sudden boom you bought over here 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 because there is fractal price action taking place over here fractal price action just like this is all fractal this is all fractal between your major swing highs and swing lows we have fractal price action right and then major price major swings and major swing points are actually this so if we go now on the one hour, this is a major high. Um, major high, major low, right? And then obviously we're expecting this to be a major high and a major low, right? And then all of a sudden price goes up. Now here's the booby trap. Here you are selling the market off. Here you are buying the markets, right? Now, all of a sudden, we see price starting to take out the retail traders. And that would be you guys. Now, all of a sudden, price starts taking you guys out one by one. Why? Because it was the lower time frame that led to the outcome of the higher time frame. Because my lower time frame is lining up with my higher time frame. They continue to buy in discounted price just to show me that they want to get into premium. Now, they've taken out another low. Now, they've taken out another low. And now, this gives them momentum... To once again buy premium. And obviously we will see price action like this being formed over here. And this is where you guys get involved and get taken out. I hope you guys learned this. I'm not going to do this again. I hope you guys have grabbed, grabbed something from this. Um, take notes because when I talk about your lower time frame lining up with your high time frame, this is what I'm talking about. I don't mean that just because a lower time frame is bullish, you are buying the market. No, the market is still selling. We are still making higher lows and, uh, sorry, yeah, higher, uh, lower highs and lower lows. So, my question is, right, if we took out this low and created this low, then obviously this is our high and our low. Now, if you can see, they bought at premium. Right? They bought at premium, right? They bought at premium just to... Sell off into discount because once they sell off into discount, they want to get the lowest prices in the market. They want to get the lowest prices. Then they're going to buy back into premium. So let's say this is now our high and this is now our new low. They now want to buy back into premium in order to sell off and get a better price at discount. All right.
your lower time frame lines up with your higher time frame, then you'll be okay. You'll understand that they're only buying at discount to get into premium. All right. Simple as that.